Welcome everybody to World of X Games Real Ski, presented by Nextcare. I'm your host, Tom Wallace, and today we're gonna be watching six amazing all urban ski videos. All the competitors that are in the contest have like their own style and their own unique way of skiing. Every single one of these guys that I've grown up like idolizing and still do. Wanted to be a part of X Games since I was 12 years old. And... Everyone who's here is always doing this kind of, you know, filming ski video parts. Like real ski to me was actually something that I like been dreaming of for a while. What's so unique about X Games Real Ski this year is that we're going to be having a world premiere here in Denver. Just behind these doors are six of the best urban skiers on the planet. Let's go check out the videos. What do you say? What are you guys excited? Let's go! You know how ski movies are meant to be played. They're not meant to be played on the internet. They gotta be on the big screen. Before we get started with all the videos, let's take a deeper look into what it takes to film an X Games real ski. Real Ski is an event put together by X Games that showcases street skiing. You need lights, generators, winch. Yeah, a lot of possibility to really show like your own style, your creativity, and just your vision. A bunch of lenses, a bunch of camera equipment. What's unique? It's like the time frame. puts a lot of pressure on yourself. Four shots left to get in a week. Kind of allows you to be able to learn stuff and try things you know, that you wouldn't be able to do in a different setting. It's a little, little skiing and a lot of all this other stuff. You know, a mom that would come and winch you guys before going to work? That's what goes into it. Okay, we are getting down to the wire a few minutes before showtime. I'm with ABM. How you feeling? You got any jitters before showing your real ski segment to this many people? For sure. I mean, we worked so hard for this, so uh, I'm excited, though, to show it to everybody. The thing I got to ask you first, you came straight from X Games Slope Style. And tell us, what did you do the other night right after X Games Slope Style? I went straight and built a wall ride feature and got my last clip for the X Game real ski. There was time left on the clock. By time left, he means, what, six hours left? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> These six athletes have had two months to put together 90 seconds of the best ski action they can. Myself and the other judges are gonna be taking a look at everything from overall impression, trick technicality, creativity, everything to decide on an X Games gold medalist who's also gonna be taking away $20,000. This year, we have athletes and filmers from all over the world. Jake Majot, Oliver Hoblitz, and Nick Morales. Per Haglin and Emil Larson. Kim Boberg and Andreas Olofsson. Phil Casabon and Brady Perron. Alex Blue Marchand and Antoine Caron. Henrik Harlow and Emil Grenou. This is X Games Real Ski. Welcome back to X Games Real Ski, presented by Nextcare. Let me break down the judging for you. When we're judging these videos, we're gonna be looking for a lot of things. 40% of your score is gonna come from overall impression. So that first wow factor, what makes you wanna re-watch the video? 25% is gonna be coming from tricks, technicality, different rail slides, everything like that. Lot skiers are either really creative or going really big, and what I wanna see is people putting those two aspects together and doing them at the same time, which can be really difficult and make things really dangerous. Another 25% is coming from creativity. I'm looking for that something different, something special, something creative, how they use the environment and their surroundings. That final 10% is gonna come from how the film is shot and edited. From the film and edit perspective, I'm looking for a finished piece that's shot well, that has some sort of intention and idea. So ultimately putting together something that's cohesive and fun to watch. I want everybody to come up, eyes on the screen, and if you see something you like, please get boisterous. Let's hear some noise, show these guys what it means to you. First video we got up tonight is going to be ABM Alex Ballou Marchand. 
I'm from Quebec City, which is a blessing for me because I've been, you know, doing some street skiing since I've been like 12. It's hard to be from there and not be really good at handrails. It's one of the meccas of urban skiing. That season doesn't go by where multiple crews don't go and spend a ton of time there. But it's also a double-edged sword a little bit because everybody comes here all the time and all the spots just get hit and hit and hit and it's hard to find new spots. And then like to try to do something creative here in my own town is, is really hard. But, you know, we're still trying to find some new spots. Over the past 12 months, he has podiumed at the Olympics, getting a bronze and slope style. And then just this past weekend, won two silver medals at X Games. He's emerging as this jack of all trades type of skier. Going right side, triple. I have never seen him do that. We've seen him film urban segments before, but more than anything, I've seen him in the slope style course, in the park, in edits of all kinds doing tricks on rails that no one else can do or no one else has tried. He is so good at rails, growing up in Quebec. Real ski is the competition that I, I was the most stressed about, uh, more than the Olympics. Not sleeping at night, just thinking about like spots and just like going crazy in my mind about like what I wanted to do. He had this huge list of like exact spots and tricks that he wanted to do on them and I don't know how many hours he spent on Google Maps and driving around cities to find spots, but I was blown away by how like prepared he was and motivated he was for it all. And I was also definitely worried about getting injured. You know the risk, like, and the risk in the streets are very high. I went to check out on him, and like I knew right away that he he was concussed. That was the lowest of lowest points. Honestly, I, I didn't tell him that, but I, I thought it was over. Like, I, I thought like he was not going to be able to ski for, like, until for the rest of real ski. Two and a half weeks later, I was passing all the concussion tests. No v problem with vision, nothing that, that was standing out. Uh, so my brain was able to recuperate very fast and all good to go. Yeah, so we're just doing a last stretch right now. It's really cold and we got like five big days ahead of us. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We're at this spot that I did a couple years ago and JF did way back in the day, but trying something a little different. It was super nice to have JF come and film and like as a kid, like if, if I'd come back in like my kid's eyes at 12 years old, like JF was on the poster in my room to have him like be there and, and shovel for me and like film for my real ski, like that feels amazing for sure. And I helped him out in 2016 when he was filming his real ski and I was like, this is mad, like it's amazing. So that drove me a lot to like, want to like push myself and do good and do as good as like these guys from Quebec that I've been killing in the streets and I want them to you know be proud of what I'm doing now. My name is Alex Beaulieu Marchand and this is my real ski video.
first impression watching ABM segment, it's powerful. There's a lot of very big, high consequence features. I think from a filmmaking and production standpoint, it's put together really well. As someone who's hit a lot of like weird, crazy rails in the past, the Z zigzag rail he hit, the rail was like at least shoulder high and he completely laced it. As a guy coming from slope style and a competitive athlete, he's got left and right side spins that no one else can do. I notice switch 450s both ways right off the bat. Uh, the only thing I noticed that may or may not take away from it in the end was is that he, he repeated a couple of the same features. Uh, there was three features in particular that he had two hits on. That's something we're definitely gonna have to, dis to, dis to discuss because all these guys are so good and they all could win that we're gonna kinda have to hone in on those little things. More action to come from X Games Real Ski. The world's biggest action sports festival returns to the land of 10,000 lakes. X Games Minneapolis, August 1st through 4th. Get your tickets now at xgames.com slash tickets. Welcome back to X Games Real Ski, presented by Nextcare. We got Henrik Harlow, X Games Real Ski 2019. Let's play the video. Henrik is the king. Henrik, for sure, is, is still 100% one of my biggest idols. You know, I'm sure that he had struggles, but always kept a smile on and was like, yeah, I'm gonna go get this right now. If you know anything about skiing, you know Henrik is one of the best in every aspect. Henrik Carlo is definitely the skier skier. He's the guy that everybody at the competitions and everybody producing film segments loves to watch. It's not even what I want to see Henrik do, it's what I, I'm curious to see what he comes up with. My name is Henrik Harlow. I'm a professional freestyle skier from Ore, Sweden. It's a super small town. Very, very great growing up there. Red Bull Big Air. It was a big Big Air contest that was held every springtime in Ore. I remember one year that sticks out more than any other was probably when Pep Fuas came there and he was doing a bunch of zero spins and stuff and I was like, wow, this guy. That's like a style I've never seen before. And his scheme was so powerful. That was like the first contest that like introduced me to the whole freestyle skiing. That's like when I first really realized that it was like a sport more than just something you did. The whole approach this year we did a little bit differently. Like usually I'm just go, 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 get shot, shot, shots, and like get as many shots as I can. But then this time, I wanted to put a little bit more effort and focus into each spot. So I would go to each spot maybe like two days or three days sometimes, just to get the very best trick or best clip I could possibly get out of each spot. I definitely have certain tricks I really would like to have in there, but then also I'm always going around scoping and like finding something that your eye catches at the moment and you just get inspired at that spot. I have this wall ride shot where I go switch, kind of like a zero spin. It's just a shot that like represents a style, like what I was saying with pep and everything, like a zero spin, like it's not a crazy trick necessarily, but it has a lot of technicality within it. I had a lot of fans actually approaching me while shooting for this real ski. It was, it was so awesome. I used to not really like when people come up to spot and like watch it while you hit and everything. <laughs> but these days I almost think it's fun and I think it makes it better in a way. You'll see it in the real ski. Yeah, yeah, we'll be watching, don't worry. I just really appreciate people showing love, so I'm always just thankful for anybody that comes up and has a good word to say. My name is Henrik Harlow. This is my real ski video. Hell, 
la libe On the shana no go te la vide Scott of fame yo vale ma libe Jude no go tome Fenda Spani school et cetera mine Lotto scuola Heba libe Tvo pistola Tre carbine Rona game Ploca he la vide Da bi he benzine Lotto sprena vile Tupo ne mati bone Hare for you tole Ruta astari ka graba rifro sune Shta nu di o nu toge Inte sa ma feru se tinga sun good dog En pasha taga de hola la dervis Fru bort hem boya de bo mama hinka di blan utslag Därför var jag mest på gatan och en nuk var en Men det är lugnt, så är jag inte lugnt Spela mer, låt det folk tro man är tönt Spela mer som om man tror man är tung Lär det mig, unga år, göra flus till en punkt What the fuck, bro, bro, ni vet ingenting alls 24-7, in the track, vilken dispens Har gjort det här för länge, håller ingen distans Så att jag ändå har musiken och jag fick en till chans Du är svär, bro, bro Du är svär, bro, bro That video was absolutely insane. What do you guys say? Let's hear it for Henrik Carlo. The nose butter four. Henrik's nose butter four. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I have to say, we have to do the two on the quad. One of the longest, if not the longest feature that was hit is this massive quad kink that Henrik hit. And he did two on to switch on it. So he's sliding unnatural this entire rail and he greases it all the way to the end. Perfect two on to switch. In Henrik's edit, he slides a quad kink rail, and it looks as if he might come off, not early, but a little bit on the inside. I mean, ultimately, if you're trying to leverage criticism, that's something you can point to. It wasn't quite perfect. Next up, we've got kind of a rookie on the scene. He, uh, he's got a couple segments, but I think this is his biggest one yet. We got Jake Majot. You guys like this kid? Jake's video, let's play it. Mango, Jake Mango. It's like a new cat with a lot, a lot of cool new stuff going on. I'm just always impressed with like what he comes up with, like the ideas that he has for tricks. Jake definitely stands out as somebody that's entirely unique and has a perspective unlike the rest of the crew this year. And I think it creates an edit that uh, you know, showcases a new and fresh approach to skiing in the streets and something that I'm really stoked to see. He is there, I know part of the equation for them is, is certainly this lo-fi, kind of gritty, skate-style influence. And the cameras are just like, you can just hold them really easily. Yeah, the fish eyes, it's all just like maneuverable, really easy. It's so nice to be able to zoom in on someone's face after they've landed a trick and you can capture emotion, I think, really well without having to like switch lenses or trying to focus it with your hand or something. We just tried to make the video like how we would make any other video, but just like go hard. It's a weird love-hate relationship when you're like super angry at the spot, but like getting close. Sometimes it's like as much as you want to stop yourself from screaming in frustration, it just like pops out. I tried hitting this spot and it just, I didn't quite like line it up correctly. And, and then the second day by like, by 9.30 we had the shot. Yo, you're 21 today bro, how does it feel? Quite different than yesterday. I was dancing around like, turned 21. That was like one of my favorite memories was just how happy we all were after we got that shot and <laughs> yes oh. happy birthday man <laughs> it was crazy i've never been that happy after getting a clip it was just like emotional no yes <laughs> jake majo and this is my real ski video nick morales and this is my real ski video uh I'm Oliver Hobbitzel, and this is Jake's real ski video. Oh yeah, this is a real ski. My heart, yeah, you played it like a violin, like a hurricane. When I found you drunk, I wanted to believe you were the one. You said. Turn your back on a sad boy I said
and skiing are like faked, but if you look at his hips coming off the snow, he's actually rocking forward and popping off of his tip into a backflip. And it's just that nuance that like, it's not fake, it's, it's legit. It's just something I've never seen before. It, it might be my favorite shot in the whole series. First impression after watching Jake's edit, I was, I was very impressed. I think he represents a, a real cutting edge approach to street skiing, not only in style, but in how he uses his skis and how he uses the terrain. And he did a lot of things that had never been done before. I think that was certainly one of his goals coming into this event. And it makes for a, a very compelling and very impressive edit. And we'll be back after the break with more action from X Games Real Ski. Welcome back to X Games Real Ski. Before we continue, let's check out this feature on Phil Casabon, presented by Nextcare. Fight and gravity trick, I think. Let's get back to business. So much crazy skiing. We've seen three videos already, three more left to go. Next up, we've got Kim Boberg. Everybody actually is such a big fan of Kim that they Almost every skier in the world attends his invitational that he has in Sweden every spring. It is the only gathering of skiers that's based solely around fun, about progression, about having just a damn good time. We got the legends here. We got the youth over here. It's Kimbo Sessions. What Kim is so well known for is bringing that flavor, a new fun flair to add to different tricks and different features. Kim is a brute, he's been like strong, he's been a skier forever, like classy and just like solid style, just and I've always loved Kim's style and I'm happy that he got to have a real ski part to give him some shine. What I love about urban skiing is like the whole process of like finding a spot and like setting it up, like working and trying hard to get the trick and then they like, finally land that trick. Ah. Like that feeling is something else. Ah! Just the whole mindset you get from street skiing, I, I like it. And just like how creative you can be. Filming real ski up until now has been real sick, but also a real struggle. We didn't have snow, like whole Scandinavia, like no snow at all. And there was a little bit of snow up north in Norway. So we like drove there for two days, came there, and it was no snow on the ground, it all melted away. Yes, as you can see, the snow is melting and the snow is turning into ice. And we just like had to find like hills where the snow has had stayed. Like small slopes that had a little bit of softer ice underneath the hard ice because there was no snow left. And just like dig out ice chunks and just like shovel and shovel and shovel. And... And for a little bit there, I thought I was gonna be stuck in a struggle for my whole rest of my life. But then somehow I landed a trick. Can't believe it. First up, stack down. 
New city, new opportunities. Two more weeks to go. The rail that our Kim's Ender was a favorite to shoot because I know how much that rail means for Kim. That rail was so special to me because it was the first rail I hit. I'm here now, like 10 years after I hit it the first time and got it in my real ski. Stepped it up, put level up here this time. Yeah, yeah we're stoked. I'm Kim Boberg and this is my real ski video. Wow, congratulations again, guys. So good, so good, killing it. Kim Boberg, in my opinion, the most technically sound edit. Smooth style, not a muscle or hair being moved. Some of the longest rails that we saw out of the field and uh, some really high consequence features. I think it's also important to recognize that once again, the playing field was not even. And I know some of the other crews were three weeks deep into their filming season. Kim was twiddling his thumbs, waiting for it to snow in Scandinavia. Makes me wonder what they would have been able to get done if conditions were more favorable. Let's just get right into it. Next up, we've got Pear Haglin. Paben, you know him? Paben, it's my brother. One of my favorite skiers to ski with, and, and he's like a magician on his skis too, like how he uses the noses and tails for like presses and like creative stuff you've never seen before. He can approach features that might physically be, be small, but the way he approaches them and skis them makes them seem bigger than they are. Well, first off, I wanted to stay in Sweden for the whole thing. Like, I, that was my vision. Like, I love being in Sweden. I get the email with, with the invite, and I look out the window and like, ah, not any snow on the ground. Like, not even close, still super warm. And then I was just talking to Alex Hackle about it, and he was just like, we should go to Quebec. We got to Quebec, haven't slept anything, got on a plane, got off, got super sick. I was just in bed for a week. Then you almost try to, I don't know, make up for that time you lost, kind of, and you want to do crazier tricks. You get the shot super quick, super easy, and then like, the rail just broke. Yeah. And then it doesn't work, and then you just go deeper down into the hole, kind of. But in your head, you're like, everyone else is out there stacking hammers every day and I have nothing. I'm the only one struggling. Okay. No, we're going home. <laughs> and then I just call up Kim, and he's just like, dude, I just got to Norway. It's ice everywhere, it's raining. Okay, she's like, okay, we can laugh about it now, you know? And then you start talking to people and it's like everyone's struggling. Like that was street, like street skiing isn't just like 
a smooth ride. It's just like it's ups and downs. And... What's up with the bunch? Yeah, so there's like a bunch of guys that met in ski school in Sweden. And we just started filming each other. And all of a sudden we had a, we made a full movie. And I think like the bunch has done a huge impact on skiing in general. They brought a whole new style into skiing. Oh, you don't need to do a specific thing that everyone else is doing to be the one that is having the most fun. I kind of get serious when I talk about it because it's like they don't even know half of what they mean to me. We've spent so much time together and they're seriously like brothers to me. I would never have been here without them for sure. And I just want to say to all of you guys and you guys for sure know who you are and I love you so, so much. My name is Paven and this is my real ski part. Thank you guys. My first impression is that Payban put together an edit that is gonna be a contender for the podium, no questions asked. There are probably more rewind moments in Payban's edit than the vast majority of the others, and that's, that's really saying something. A rail along the side of a parking lot that he swoops his way through and taps the roof. Uh, such a unique eye, and, and you don't see that kind of skiing out of many other people in the entire world, let alone anybody else in this field. It's always good to see an edit where the style of skiing very intentionally matches the style of production. They set the tone right at the beginning with a 360 degree backwards tracking rotational shot. Clearly illustrates that they're going for something a little moody, a little funky, a little different. And that carries over certainly to the skiing and to the production through the rest of the edit. Nearly all of the field is gone, but when we return, our defending real ski gold medalist, Bill Casabon. Welcome back to X Games Real Ski, presented by Nextcast. We got one more video. You guys know who's the only guy left? Let's just get right into it. Phil Casabon, everybody. I don't want to sound biased, but Phil might be the best urban skier of all time. Uh, last year's champion and People's Choice winner, and deservingly so. He's a legend. I'm so, so inspired by him and his skiing. And every time he put out something, it's so much heart and passion into it. Like he has so much thoughts into each and every trick. We filmed back in the day sometimes, and I know how confident he is. It's before we even build the setups, he probably stares at the setups for like 20 minutes and like he imagined all the possibilities. If Phil isn't shoveling, it's because he's like has to think and digest what's going on. And then when it comes to showtime, you can see that like the trick has been done so many times. It is actually unbelievable how in control of his skis he is in the streets. It is amazing. Every time I put out something, I've tried to surpass what 
came before it and I tried to explore different aspects of my skin that I hadn't touched. For Phil, it's like, as a super athlete and like an iconic one, you have to like manage your ego and that means using it and then also like pushing it away to kind of bring yourself down to like a workable level and he's good at that, so that's strong. When I watch Phil ski, I'm like, ah, oh, I want to ski like that, so we're trying to portray that and like just create the vibe for folks to to want to be like someone. And Brady Perrin, he was my first inspiration that I can remember. I got into filming through skiing actually, being more so in front of the lens and then now it's an easy transition to be behind the lens and kind of just get that same release with the creativity that I had once on skis. Like Brady said, being proud of a 90 second cut and feeling like you transmit something like dedication, love, that's what we went for, like try to give people some heart and just like hopefully people feel that. There's like mindfulness about the judging and that we are in a contest, but also like a lot of soul. In our video, we put a crash in and then it doesn't take up too much time. So it's like, yeah, we're gonna keep the crash in and we're gonna show like, this is real ski and we wanna make it realistic. And some of our favorite videos in general have, have trials and tribulations. So it's nice to be able to fit it in. That was a big mental battle. Two days later, my mind, I couldn't really sleep. So I just went back and was like minus 25. It was not welcome and we just went for it. Put the crash in and then show the next day when he's okay with the sunlight out and it's like, that feels like some closure. It's fun to tie it all together and have Phil's eyes start the cut, that feels good. Have Phil's eyes open at the end into the sunlight feels really good. So that, that was our little story. That feels all right to put in the video rather than like another landed ski trick. Peace, this is Phil and Brad Monks and this is our real ski part. Last year's X Games gold medalist, real ski, these two. You as well, Brady. Gold medalist, these boys. Bring them up on the stage. So going into watching Phil's edit for the first time, you're, the bar is here, your expectations are here. You wanna see him raise the bar. And it, as an end result, I think his edit was insane. It was exactly what you come to hope and want to see out of Phil, a level of style and creativity and technicality that's the best. Never did I think I would see him on the top of a three-story building, sliding down a rail, redirecting down a wall to be on something so tall, so sketchy and dangerous. And right off the bat, I was I was in for a treat. Well, one of my one of his favorite shots of mine is his closer because he does this absolutely massive transfer. Doing that trick in a perfect environment would be difficult, but he did it on this garbage rail that his skis are gonna dig into and transfers like that, you're throwing all your body weight against this rail. You're just asking it to dig into the rail and he still somehow manages to lock in and ride it out and clean and laces it. So many amazing videos, six absolute legends of urban skiing, 90 second videos. Let's hear it guys for everybody tonight putting all their life on the line, blood, sweat and tears. All six videos have officially premiered but just in case you missed it, here's a quick recap.
What trick do you think they were going to go the most nuts over? Probably like the whale. Nice. For me, it was the hardest feature probably that we got in the video. Why did you go for such a crazy trick? Or like, where did you come up with that? I was hoping I could do that one. It took like two days to get it basically. And we went until late in the morning. And finally got it, so it was nice. The spin he does on top of the pole and above the double kink is just absolutely insane. I'm down to be hurt in doing this more than skiing half pipe. Urban skiing, putting it on the map. Everybody's getting into it. Congratulations, guys, on such an amazing video. Definitely the hardest one was my opener. And that was actually the only time he made it through the second kink as well. Skis get pretty close to the camera. Has he ever hit you? I think we destroyed one camera. Yeah. We destroyed one microphone. We destroyed a lot of things. Yeah. Last year's X Games gold medalist, real ski. These two, gold medalists, these boys. Bring them up on the stage. And when you put yourself in this event, it's kind of like all in as much as possible. You know, you get like some bummers. Yeah, that's my motivation is just knowing it's gonna bring forth like great things. This variety of styles of skiing that makes it so difficult to judge. It's comparing apples to oranges and these different aspects is gonna make it very difficult on us judges breaking these videos down to see who really put together the best X Games Real Ski video. Just so much going on. There's so many details to talk about, but I think we all have our own personal notes, maybe our own personal top three. I think we gotta get together and really hash out all these details because we gotta award a winner and when we come back, we're giving out X Games gold medals. Welcome back to X Games Real Ski, presented by Nextcare. And it's finally the time to hand out some hardware. In third place, X Games Real Ski 2019, Alex Balou Marchand and Antoine Caron. medal, second place in Real Ski 2019. Pair, Pabin, Haglin, and Emil Larson. First place in X Games Real Ski 2019. Phil Casabon and Brady Parent defending the gold medal. videos, but coming out on top, Phil Casabon and Brady Perrin, back-to-back -back X Games Real Ski gold medals. Any words to say? Really thankful and impressed by skiing, really, and thankful that I got this dude, the main man. Just want to shout out to Brady, man. He went in. He knew. He knew he could do some, like, push the limits and, like, stick true and up the formula. It went up. And I'm proud of him, man. Straight for yeah. And that's a wrap for X Games Real Ski 2019. We'll see you next time.